Hey everybody, welcome back to Topher Pro. Glad to have you all here. Uh, I know in the last episode, not the not the sub special, the, uh, you know, the the one prior to that, got a little out of hand. But I'm here today to let you know I'm reformed. Uh, I went to I went to rehab. Um, willingly. I've cleaned up my act. Uh, I, I've gotten sober. Uh, I, I applied for a 401k and uh, for a great low rate, I went online, went to the general and I saved some time. You know the one. So let's, let's you know, put that one on the back burner. You know, let's ignore that one. You know, let's, let's get back to, so let's just, so let's just get back into painting. Everyone loves paintings. Everyone loves my paintings. I love my paintings. And today, I'm going to be painting Seattle or the Space Needle. Space Needle is going to be kind of the uh, the focal point of it, but it's kind of Seattle too. So I'll list my paints on the screen. You can follow along or you can drink because I can't. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. You may or may not have noticed that I moved cities and locations. And in the move, I lost the fine tip brush and all I have left is the goddamn fan brush I'm sorry <laughs> all right did you see it uh, it's it's it was a very subtle touch uh, but I changed the canvas from a portrait uh, to a landscape size uh, because I think this is going to benefit from uh, more length uh, width than height I think I'm gonna be right on this one so what we're gonna do is we're going to start with the the whole backdrop, the sky. I think I'm learning from this. Uh, do you remember the last painting I did, the uh, lighthouse? Um, you remember that sky? Neither do I, because it was no good. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to take a bl uh, blending approach versus like eight different colors of the sky. Fan brush piece of shit. So we're gonna mix a little blue and red, and we're going to go from the bottom up, and as we climb up, we're going to add more red to our mixture so that it gets a lighter uh, purple color. Okay. Now instead of starting the next color right here, I'm going to start midway through this purple so that we actually get a blended look. And ooh, I hope it works. <laughs> Fuck. Come on, get lighter in color, goddammit. <laughs> Shit. And then we're gonna push it a little bit into the blue. Blend it a little more up the- oh, shoot. I think I can offset whatever's going on here uh, by adding a little black to a larger pool of blue and we'll uh, blend it at the top to make it a little darker. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You ever see your friend try to like fix something and makes it worse, and then he's like, wait, 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 no, give me another chance. I can, I can fix this. I can fix this, and he keeps making it worse. That's kind of what's happening right here. Oh, no. <laughs> There's our sky. We're going to let this dry for a little bit, and then we'll start on the, the cityscape, the buildings that go in front of it. Jesus fucking... What my social worker doesn't know won't hurt him. Hey, Topher Pro tip of the day. Don't be a snitch. So what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, make our buildings. Uh, what we want to accomplish is uh, creating a contrast between the sky, the buildings in front, and then the space needle, which will go uh, front and center. <clears throat> so what we're going to do to create a contrast between the sky and buildings is the buildings will be basically a black silhouette outline, and we'll add uh, sort of gray features in front of it to make it look like the, the city's lighting coming up. And we're basically doing the tops of the buildings so we don't have to really worry about making a hundred like little building outlines at the bottom. This is kind of just like the the skyscraper uh, view. You like fun facts? I got them. You want fun facts? I got you. Seattle is the birthplace of Starbucks coffee. So if you have a borderline caffeine addiction, well then 
you got Seattle to thank for that. Also, we don't want to build our, our skyscrapers too high because, you know, your boy Topher kind of made the, the, the upper sky too dark. Let's get one more in there. Okay, now let's fill it in. Okay, I'm starting, I'm starting to figure out this fan brush. The fan brush and I are building this relationship. Fun fact, number two. The Seattle area has been inhabited for over 4,000 years. That was a really fun fact. God, it's almost indistinguishable from Seattle. Done with that. So we're going to let this dry one more time, and then we will get started with the front and center space needle. Don't look at me like that. You have a problem. Okay, so now we're going to work on the, the space needle, and then the... The, the lighting for the buildings behind. And what we're going to do is we're going to give the Space Needle a, a bit of an orangish hue to make it really, I mean, white will, white will pop, but we're, we're also assuming that the uh, light from below is kind of illuminating the Space Needle, and so we're going to give it just an orangish uh, tinge. Okay, here we go. So we're kind of building the base to begin with. And now we're working our way. And they all kind of intersect about here. And then push back out near the bottom. Holy sh... No, 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 we're good. It's a little, it's a little wide. But alright. And they all kind of converge right here. And then we have the uh, observation deck. Okay, so that's all of the uh, lit uh, part of the Space Needle here. So while we let this portion of the Space Needle dry, we will start working on the lighting for the buildings behind it to give it a little more depth. And instead of the orange tinge for the Space Needle, we're going to give this a sort of uh, grayish hue to kind of accentuate the, the darkened buildings of the night and then the light coming up from the city. Yeah, damn it. So it's a little much. So if we let's let's see let's see if we can't darken it just a little bit more. I don't think it's happening, so so we'll leave it as is. We won't really give it more of a solid foundation because uh, one, I don't want it to detract too much from the space needle. And two, it doesn't look very good as is. So we're going to swap back again. We'll let the gray uh, lighting uh, dry a little bit, work on the Space Needle, and then finish with the lights of the building. Fun fact number three. The video game Infamous Second Son takes place in Seattle because the development studio Sucker Punch uh, is based out of Seattle. Talk about a good but a not great game. So we're just going to take a little bit of black and use it to fill in this sort of observation slash uh, dining area of the Space Needle. And you know, it's real hard to see against the really dark sky, but we're going to add the uh, little spire here and just a little bit of red and a pinch of white to create the little beacon light at the top. Fun fact number five, I'm an alcoholic. And last but not least, I know this painting isn't done yet. I'm gonna add in lights to the buildings here. Hundreds of little business office window lights. And we're kind of changing up this lighting fixture situation in every building. Not every, not everybody is still at work. Some people have already gone home. Some people are stuck working in the wee hours of the night because fun fact number six you need about sixty thousand dollars a year to afford a uh, modest one bedroom house uh, in seattle and this is one of those buildings that just has one of the giant signs at the top all right now it's turning into a speed painting because this shit's obnoxious just dab it on and you know just just the last touch to really make it seattle is a uh, Pike's Place Market, because it ain't Seattle without Pike's Place Market. And there you go, Pike's Place Market, right under the Space Needle, where it's always been. And that's it. 
that's... So let's talk about it. You know, outside of the top of the sky that's a little darker, a little bit more uh, messy, the, the middle to the bottom is slightly better blended, and I like the colors more. It's, it's a lot more focused. You know, the, the Space Needle is front and center. Uh, you have your buildings in the back giving it a little bit of depth. The light fixtures give it some warmth. And of course, you know, it's not Seattle without the public market center. So I really feel like we've hit all of the, the notes uh, to what makes Seattle special. I'd give it a 3 out of 10. I, I would consider a 1 to be like, here's a painting, you did it. So, 2. But yeah, I think that's going to do it. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, I've got a lot more exciting stuff planned for the channel. Uh, not just painting episodes, but I will be bringing this back uh, more than I had in the past. So, look forward to that. Look forward to future projects. And to all my Seattleites out there, you have a good one. snitch.